Oh my gosh, I love this show. I wish I could take Professor Picklesimer and put him in my pocket. Take him with me everywhere. <gasps> Wait, can I? Oh, excuse me? <gasps> Don't move. I've got an idea. I'll just scoop you out of here. Uh, I am kind of Don't in worry. the middle of something. I'll be careful. And put you in one of my videos. What if I don't want to go in one of your videos. I've already got my own TV show. <gasps> I can't believe it. It's working. And I can just put you down over here. Um, I can't see anything. Oh. Well, hold on. I meant I'll put you down over here. Wait, hold on. That's too messy. Give me a minute. Let me clean this up a little bit. Ah, there we go. Nice and clean. Now, I'll put you down. And maybe you can help us out. Okay. Help you out with what? Well, I thought maybe you could tell the kids about the steps to the scientific method. Oh, that's a good one. Lights, please. Scientific method with Professor Pickle Simer. I am so sorry. I just felt like we needed a little theme song. Well, there's nothing wrong with a good theme song. But I'm afraid there is a little something wrong with that one. Scientists use the scientific method as a process to study and learn things. I like to say the scientific method is divided into six steps. Do you want to go over the six steps with them, Mrs. Smith? Um, okay, sure. Step one. Oh, just kidding. Step one, come up with the question you'd like to answer. Yep, and a good scientific question is one that not only can be answered, but it can also be tested. It also should help other people and scientists understand the world a little better. For example, if you're interested in investigating dreams, and your question is, was I dreaming? Well, that's not a very scientific question. First of all, whether or not you were dreaming doesn't sound that important to the rest of us. And second of all, I can't really go back and test that. I don't know if you were dreaming. A better question, a more scientific question would be, why do we dream? Or maybe, can we control our dreams? Both of those sound like they're worth investigating and the knowledge we gain from the investigation would give us a better understanding of the whole world, not just your sleeping habits. Step two, research and gather information and data. You gather information to help you understand your question better. You might use the internet to help research facts. You might interview people. You might even study the research of others to help you gather information and collect data. But there are a lot of other ways you can gather information too. You can make observations with a hand lens or a microscope or a telescope or even binoculars. You can also just use your own natural senses to make observation. Pay close attention to what's going on around you. You can even build models and run your own experiments to collect data and gather information. And now we're on to step three. State a hypothesis, which is an educated prediction. Once you've come up with your question, mine was, can we control our dreams? And then gathered information and completed our research. Mine was all on dreams. Then you're ready to form your hypothesis. An hypothesis isn't just an educated guess. It's more like a prediction of what you think will happen based on your research. My hypothesis is, I think I can control my dreams because I think dreams are a result of what's going on in your life. I am about to get a new puppy and I think about her all the time. So I predict my dream will have some sort of dog in it. Oh 
right, all right. Now on to step four. In step four, you perform careful experiments with just one variable at a time to test your hypothesis. In step five, you analyze the results, make adjustments to your hypothesis, and then maybe perform more experiments. In step six... Oh, in step six, you'll present a conclusion and communicate the results. Right, Professor Picklesimer. In my case, my conclusion would be, did I dream about puppies? And if not, did I dream about something else that was still related to what happened in my life? I would answer my question in my conclusion. In my experiment, could I control my dreams or not? By using the process of the scientific method, scientists can confirm their guesses and yeah. double check their conclusions and the conclusions of other scientists. Scientists can gather results from each other and add more tests and experiments, which should lead to better understanding. Thanks, Professor Picklesimer. I guess I'm going to have to put you back now. But there are so many other things I'm going to grab out of my TV now that I know this is possible. See you next time. Yep, we'll see you next time. Science, science with Professor Pickle Simon. La 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 la. Hmm. And now I'm gonna find a channel with a car on it. La 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 la.